you could animate this so that it actually moves, but I'm not going to do it in, in today's uh, video. Um, but yeah, we're going to add a subdivision surface to that. Of course, object shade smooth, and that looks really, really cool. But what I want to do is I want to go ahead and do the materials for this really quickly. So we'll go ahead and select my camera, hit zero to go into the front face into the camera's view, open up this right hand side, turn view on, go to camera to view, scroll on out like that. I'm going to put the bottom of the portal, maybe right, right there, maybe uh, turn off camera to view and we can select these different objects now. So let's go ahead. I'm going to make my background. Um, black we're going to light this by hitting shift a searching for an area lamp and then hitting g to move it up r to rotate you know the dealy here move it up a little bit um, turn the power up a little bit turn square uh, to make sure it's on square change the size go to rendered viewport shading and then we can go ahead and turn the power up even more because you can't see that there we go and now we're gonna go ahead and grab Actually, we did the, turn that, grab that lamp, make sure that's not on. There we go. All right, uh, grab our actual portal. We'll do this material first. Hit new. Change the base color to something that's dark and then add a little bit of blue to it, like thusly. There we go. And then we're going to grab, we'll do a little bit more of that in a second. We're going to grab our uh, portal piece. Hit new. Change the base color to that famous, well, actually, we're going to change this to emission first. And then we change that base color to that famous pinkish, purpley color like that. Um, go to the main tab here, turn bloom on. I'm actually going to make sure bloom is not as big. And then we're going to do like that. Very nice. I'm going to turn this a little bit less pink, a little bit more purple. Like that. There we go. Grab our actual portal itself. Maybe turn a little bit metallic on there. A little bit more specular, a little less roughness. Um, there we go. So it looks pretty nice now. Um, what I want to do after this is we're going to go ahead and do a little bit more of the material here. So I'm gonna open up the shader editor by putting my cursor up in the top left and dragging until my, you know, when my cursor turns into a plus like that. Change this left hand view to the shader editor. There we go. Um, and with this um, portal material, I'm gonna turn off my overlays real quick. There we go. Uh, you can see we have that nice little shine on there so we can see what's going on. I'm gonna actually do a couple of things here. So I just want a little bit of a material on that. So I'm going to, under displacement, we're gonna hit Shift A and search for a noise texture. Plop that right there and plug up the, the color. <clears throat> there you go. And once that's done, you should see it looks like that, which is not like the best. So we're gonna change the scale a little bit, turn the detail all the way up um, and turn the roughness a little bit up to about like 0.6. Maybe a little tiny bit of distortion, but not too much. Something like that. So it's like it's maybe like lava hardened, I guess. Looks pretty nice. I like that. <clears throat> All right. We're going to add in a, I believe it's, no, not add. What am I doing? Um, math. There we go. Add in a math shader. And then we're going to uh, plug that in right there. I'm going to change this to multiply. And we're going to add in one more uh, thing here, which is going to be, I want to actually see if we can do a waves. So shift A wave texture plug that color up right there into the bottom half you can see we're now mixing a noise texture with a wave texture if it loads <laughs> got a lot of stuff to do here guys you gotta speed this up a little bit um we're gonna change the scale up a little bit uh not too crazy though to maybe like about five ish turn distort up a little to a little bit turn the detail uh quite a bit up and then we're gonna turn the um the detail roughness up a little bit so it doesn't look as liney like that and we'll turn that up a little tiny bit like that and then the phase offset might as well just change a little bit so it's not exactly the same um and yeah i'm gonna actually go ahead and maybe flip these it doesn't really matter but <clears throat> maybe it looks a little bit different well sometimes it might but yeah so we're gonna keep doing we're gonna do that and now we have the ability to go ahead and do the portal itself. Now for the portal itself, we can do a couple of different things, but what I really kind of really want to do is I'm just going to make it a little bit variated because it's, it looks kind of weird like this. It's just like solid. So we're going to go ahead and do a shift a color ramp and we're going to plug that into the color of the emission. Uh, and then we're going to add two different colors here. So we're going to add in that purple ish color back like, like that. And then we're going to add another color, which is going to be a deeper purple like that. All right, cool. 
um, and then we're gonna pull that up a little bit. All right, and then now for the next part, I wanna go ahead and add in a couple of things. We're adding a noise texture, and we're gonna, well, we can't, well, just plug that up to that. I, we can do that, actually. So we're gonna plug that up like that so it's uh, a little bit more rough. Turn the detail up, turn the roughness down a little bit, turn distortion up quite a bit. And like I said, you can animate these, of course. So you can see we got a little bit of texture in there now. I'm actually gonna make this purple even darker. Um, so we might, it might even just do something like that actually. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. I like that. That looks cool. Um, now, I want to go ahead and do one more thing. Uh, we can turn the strength up a little bit because it's kind of dull now. So yeah, we can do that. You can also mix it with a couple of other things. I do want to maybe do another wave texture. So we're going to do noise and waves like we did with the last one. Um, add another math. So we're going to do the same exact thing we just did for the other material. We're going to plug the color into that. Change this to multiply, of course. Um, and we're going to change the scale so it's like maybe seven ish turn distort way up as you can see that looks really good now turn the detail up turn the detail scale I don't really know if I want to mess with that too much the detail roughness we can definitely add a little bit of that and then the phase offset you can see you can animate this exactly like this just by turning the phase offset up just very slightly animate it just like that so it's moving uh, a little bit which looks really good which I'm going to actually do so might as well just go ahead and change our in frame to 100 start frame zero um, make our offset zero, hit I, hover your cursor over the top of that, hit I, go to the last frame, change it to like, I don't know, 20, hit I, and now when we play this, you can see that it will move, I'm going to turn off my viewport denoising, um, you can see that you can definitely have this look really good, uh, with just a little bit of work, uh, and that looks really cool, I think this purple might be a little bit too dark now, so I might as well just go ahead and brighten that up a little bit, change it, there we go. Looking kind of cool. I really enjoy that quite a bit. There's so many other things you can do here as well. You can do a lot of different things. I'm actually going to go ahead and put a plane behind this so we can see a little bit easier, but I want to keep that black color though. Um, actually, you know what? I might, just, might as well just do like this and just make it not as dark. All right, cool. Yeah, that looks really, really cool. I really enjoy this quite a bit. That looks really awesome. Um, let's go ahead and just make a really nice scene real quick. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's tutorial. Hope you ladies and gentlemen uh, liked today's tutorial. I really enjoy uh, making things like this. It's absolutely crazy um, how cool this looks and, and how, you know, it looks like Minecraft. It looks like a Minecraft Obsidian portal, but like, you know, realistic, which is really cool. So hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. There's so many other things you can do with this. This is just a basic example. Hope you enjoyed it. Go make something awesome. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.